Mrs. Welsh bought a new watch on sale for $280. If the original price was $350, by what percentage was the price reduced? Let's use a model to help find the answer. We know the sale price is $280, and the original price was $350. The difference in price is $350 minus $280, which equals $70. To find the percentage the price was reduced, let's first find the fraction the price was reduced, then convert it to a percentage. The fraction decrease of the price is equal to the amount decrease over the original price. 70 over 350 is equal to 7 over 35. Dividing both numbers by 7 gives 1 fifth, the simplest form of the fraction. To express this as a percentage, we need to find an equivalent fraction that has a denominator of 100. Multiplying both numbers by 20 gives 20 over 100. 20 one hundredths equals 20%. So the price of the watch was reduced by 20%. A coffee shop sold 80 cups of coffee in the morning and 56 cups of coffee in the afternoon. Express the decrease in sales as a percentage. First, let's find the decrease in the number of cups sold. 80 minus 56 equals 24. So the fraction decrease is equal to 24 over 80. 24 over 80 can be simplified to 3 tenths. To find an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100, multiply both numbers by 10. 30 one hundredths equals 30%. So the coffee sales decreased by 30%. During the day, the temperature in the Death Valley reached 40 degrees Celsius. At night, the temperature dropped to 24 degrees Celsius. What was the percentage drop in temperature? 40 minus 24 equals 16. So the temperature decreased 16 degrees. The fraction decrease equals 16 over 40, which can be simplified to 4 tenths. 4 tenths equals 40 over 100, which is 40%. So the temperature dropped by 40%.